NCD will only have one day of polling, unlike other centers of the country. What election officials will be doing is centralizing polling sites to ensure mistakes of the past are not repeated. In the 2012 general elections, many double votings took place due to the scattered number of polling stations. Returning officer of Port Mosby Northwest, Moka Havara, says these elections will be different. But, uh, we, have, we have allowed everybody to cast their votes. So we have we come across with problems, you know. We were, we have, we were expecting that people, or thousands of people, coming to, uh, to uh, various polling places. So uh, we are just trying to find some way, ways and means to, uh, to how to uh, uh, cater the problem. The plan for these uh, coming elections, we have um, centralized all those, uh, especially those, uh, example, uh, uh, Guerrero Stage 1. We will be expecting to set up three polling booths where we get all those three teams which were scattered in the last election in 2012. We are going to put them into, into uh, one uh, venue. A mock polling exercise was conducted at the Electoral Commission headquarters today to familiarize officials with how they will be operating come the polling dates. Officials were given a run-through of the process and procedures and how to ensure a smooth flow of voting. Mr. Havra said thousands of people are expected in the central locations, and controlling them and ensuring a smooth flow of operations will be a challenge. But they hope to avoid these hiccups by ensuring their officers are on par with the operating procedures. We are here this morning, today is Saturday, here this, this morning to uh, display our, uh, our preparation, uh, setting up a polling pool within the uh, NCD. We organize how the teams supposed to be uh, set up at its uh, polling booth to uh, to minimize the problem of uh, people you know, in case of people coming to vote. An alphabetical system will be used, with certain booths catering for certain letters of the alphabet. Jehab Akia, NBC National News, Port Mosby.